Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is an upper body workout without weights. While there's no equipment required for today's routine, if you have a towel available, you will be able to use it for one of the exercises. Follow me for the beginner modifications. And follow along with me for those standard movements. If you're ready to begin, let's do it. All right, let's get started with the warm up. We're gonna warm up the upper body, especially our shoulders, chest, and back. So let's start with an upright row, good posture, slight bend in those knees. I want you to bring your elbows up, and then when they reach the highest point, flip your hands over into an external rotation, and then press straight up overhead and return back down. So we're gonna go back in that same exact movement pattern that we went up. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six part movement on this one. It is a total shoulder warm up, making sure to breathe. Again, this is just the warm up. So I want you to move at a pace that you feel comfortable with, whatever that may be. And we're not gonna count any repetitions throughout the course of today's workout. I just want you to move at a pace that you feel comfortable with, whatever that may be aiming for between five to 12 repetitions on every single exercise. Nice full range of motion, stretch those arms up overhead, feeling those arms loosen up already. Let's go ahead and complete this one for five, four, three, two, one, last one and zero, excellent. All right, we're gonna move into a T raise. We're gonna bend over on a 45 degree angle. I want your thumbs up for this one. So we're gonna create a T, keeping our back straight, thumbs are up, arms are straight. Bring those arms back, keep your head in a nice neutral position in line with your spine. Weights back in your hips a little bit on this one. Again, keeping that core tight, back stays straight. Arms stay straight on this one and just pull back and squeeze the middle Ooh. of your back every time on this one. I feel it. It's also a great one if you uh, suffer from any little shoulder impingement to loosen up those shoulders. Excellent, nice full range of motion on this one. Getting a little looser with every repetition. Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, okay, stay here. We're gonna move right into a Y raise. So thumbs stay up. Now we're bringing those arms out in front and we're making a Y shape with our arms and body. So bring those arms slightly out to the side on about a 45 degree angle. Again, thumbs stay up. Head stays in a nice neutral position in line with that spine. Core stays tight. Full range of motion on this one. Excellent work. Warming those shoulders up already. I'm already feeling it. It's gonna be a good workout today. All right, let's keep it up here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Stand up, shake it loose. Warm up is complete. All you ready right, for I'm this, ready. Claudia? I think so. All right, well, whether you're ready or not, we're doing it, so let's get, <laughs> let's get into it. All right, we're gonna move to the floor for the first one. We're gonna get into a high plank position, also known as like a push-up position. Core is tight, back is straight. Claudia's gonna do this one from her knees, but she's still keeping her hips down. So notice how she immediately brings those hips down and doesn't have her butt way up in the not air. Not this way either. I'm not uh, yep. extending my back either not way. Not hyperextended, exactly. All right, so from this position, we're gonna do a high plank row. I want you to pull back on those elbows. Keep your core nice and tight. We're gonna alternate arms. Again, and anytime we do any row, you're pulling back from that elbow like you have a string attached to it. So not pulling back on the hand, but instead pulling back on the elbow and then squeezing your back muscles at the top. And we're also trying to keep our shoulders square. So we definitely don't wanna turn this into a 
I don't know what you would call it. Rotation. That. There you go. Rotation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to keep those shoulders square, hips square, both to the ground, which does make it more challenging. Making sure to breathe. Whatever you do when you're down here, do not hold your breath. Nice, full range of movement. You got it. Pull back, squeeze that back on every rep. Again, moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with, whatever that may be. Let's keep this one up for 10 more seconds. Almost there. Keep grinding through it, guys. You got it for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're going to rest for just a second here while we're explaining the next Shake one. Shake it out. We're going to go into a staggered push up. So, normal push up, hands are shoulder width apart and they're in line with one another. This time we're going to start with your, your left hand where it normally would be and bring your right hand back one hand length. So that's staggered position. We're going to do push-ups from here, either here off on my feet or as you see Claudia's on her knees and then we'll switch halfway through. Here we are in three, two, one. Full range of motion all the way up, all the way down. Bend those elbows so they get to about a 90 degree angle and then back up. This is a tough one. No bones about it. Today's workout is very efficient. A lot of compound upper body moves today. Getting a lot in in a short period of time. This one's working your chest, your shoulders, your triceps, and your core, all getting hit on this one. And make sure your elbows are not flaring out. You want to make sure that your elbows are coming out to about a 45 degree angle relative to your torso. We're going to switch sides in three, two, one, zero. So right hand back where he normally would be, and then left hand comes back behind and right back into it. So again, we're halfway done with this set. We're gonna do each exercise today only one time through. So when it's done, it's done. <laughs> so give it your all, right? That's right. Come on, that's it right here. Woo, I'm feeling it already. I am too. We're all feeling it. Come on, Hatsby Tribe, let's go. No matter how bad you're burning, just concentrate on what brought you here today to begin with, whatever that may be. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh. Excellent. All right, shake those arms loose. Oh, We're going to go ahead and stand up for the next one. Fun. Got a little combo isometric exercise. We're going to do an iso biceps triceps crusher. So it's all about the grip on this one. Let's go one arm, 90 degree angle, open that hand up. Place your opposite side hand in it. Keep it nice and close to you. Now this arm is gonna press down with my tricep, while this arm is gonna pull up with my bicep. And we're gonna get a nice isometric contraction, fighting against one another. We're gonna hold in three, two, one, zero. So I'm pressing down and pushing up at the same time. Woo. Curling <laughs> and pushing. One arm at your bicep, the other arm at your tricep. Fighting against yourself, trying to maintain a 90 degree angle at both elbows. Just Keeping breathe good posture. through this one. This is a good one. And keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. And relax. Shake it out. All right, let's go to the opposite side. Flip it now. So, opposite side bicep, tricep is going to work. Three, two, one, go. Curling up, pressing down. You got it. Fighting against yourself on this one. So it's all about you and how much effort you want to put in right here. Come on, squeeze, 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 squeeze. You got to feel those arms working. You said you need weights to be work it to work your arms. Three, two, one, zero. Shake it loose. Okay, we're gonna go back to that opposite side here. And three, two, one, begin, go. Again, one side bicep is resting with a other one's working and vice versa. Come on, keep it up. Pressing and pushing. Breathe everything you got here. Hold, hold, hold for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Shake it loose. We got one last one. Keep good posture, a little bend in those knees. Core stays tight. I can only imagine what my face looks like right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> and go. <laughs> ah, Making the squeeze. best faces right now. Yes, come on, let's go. Squeeze it, guys. <laughs> Squeeze it, come on. It's not about looking pretty or looking cute. It's about getting the job done right here. Come on. If you still look cute at the end of your workout, you didn't work hard enough. Or if you look cute in the middle of your workout, you didn't work hard enough. Hold it for three, 
two, one, zero, and shake Ooh. it loose. All right, we're gonna go back to the floor for the next one. I'm gonna move into a little calisthenics move, a little gymnastics move. Um, we're gonna do a planche. So I want your fingers facing you, so turn those hands around, and you decide if you're gonna do this one from your knees or from up on your feet. We're gonna get into a very similar position to a push-up, but only again, those arms or hands are facing backward, and I'm actually gonna let my upper body travel as far as you can up over those arms, and we're just gonna hold. Keep a very slight bend in those elbows, not much. You'll notice I'm up on my toes, and that'll even create a little bit extra resistance. You decide in here where it's right for you, all the way over, or maybe pulling back a little bit. You decide at what point is the right difficulty for you today. Just remember to keep that core nice and engaged. And breathing through the movement, do not hold your breath. And don't let those abs get loose. Hold them nice and tight. Core is engaged, just like Claudia said. Hold it, hold it, guys. We got 10 seconds on this one. This is a double duty workout. Feeling good. Upper body and core. That's right. Three, two, one, zero. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ah, wow. I felt that one. I felt <laughs> on my forearms, my biceps, triceps, all feeling that one. Okay. We're going to move into a triceps pop-up for this next one. Again, I'm going to be up on my feet. Claudia's going to be on her knees yet again. So I'm coming up into high plank position. I'm going to walk my hands out a little further in front of me, about one hand length where they would normally be for a push-up. Claudia's on her knees. Now I'm going to bring my elbows in to the ground, and I'm going to pop them back up so it's nice and controlled. Elbows stay in. They don't flare out. They stay in and really just focusing on only bending at that elbow joint. So not getting your shoulders involved, not getting your core to give you any help. Keep your core tight and engaged, all the way up, all the way down. Let's go, come on, how many can you get in this? A lot of time period. Nice and controlled. Woo! If you need to come down to your knees, it's totally okay. Some exercises you might be all right on your feet. Some of you might need to come down to your knees. You decide what is right for you. And go at a pace that works for you. That's it. Fitness. I would much rather you have good form on this one than try to fly through as many as you can. Right, and not even feel it. If you're bouncing up and bouncing down, you're not even getting the work in. You need that time under tension. Ooh. Let's go. Come on, how many can you get? You know, last 10 seconds right here. Keep the core tight and engaged. Come on. Fight through it, guys. Fight through it. Everything you got for five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Nice. All right, next we're gonna move into a skydiver pull-up. So we're gonna be on the ground in a prone position. I'm gonna use my towel for this one. Claudia is just gonna use your hands. You decide which one is right for you. So line down, arms out straight in front of us. I'm gonna bring my legs up off the ground and my upper body where Claudia's just gonna bring her upper body off the ground. Now I'm gonna pull to my chest, bringing those elbows back, keeping my upper body and legs off the ground, isometrically contracting that posterior chain. On every pull, I want you to pull back on those elbows, making sure to breathe. S squeeze your back as you pull those elbows back, working those scapular stabilizer muscles. Great one also for your rotator cuffs. Strengthening, strengthening those rhomboids, middle back muscles. Nice full range of motion. Whatever you do, don't hold your breath on this one. This one becomes all mental and that burn starts to kick in, that lactic acid starts to take over. It's all about your mental toughness. How much burn can you take and keep moving forward? Keep pushing yourself because nobody else can or will do it for you. Concentrate on what brought you here today to begin with. What is it? What motivates you? Hold on to it for five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh zero. my goodness. Ah, burn so good, guys. For real. Okay. Who knew? <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to move into a pike push up. So a little adjusted push up puts you more on a vertical plane straight up and down we're going to start with our fingers facing one another first step now i'm going to be up on my feet claudia's going to be on her knees but either way we're actually going to take your upper body and put it on more of a vertical plane straight up and down 
To achieve this, you get your hands closer to you. I have my legs straight, Claudia's on her knees. Now looking back at our feet or our knees, we go straight down, bending at those elbows. This variation puts more emphasis on your triceps and shoulders, a little less on your chest than a traditional push-up. For most, this is gonna be harder than a traditional push-up. Again, no shame if you need to go to those knees. Either way, you're keeping those elbows out on this one. Fingers facing inward, elbows out. And you're definitely gonna feel this one in your triceps, even from your knees. Ooh, so if yeah. you need to adjust your knees a little bit, either forward or backward until you feel that burn, because you, you really should be feeling it, uh, yeah. then do that. Again, make this workout work for you and your body type, your strength, fitness level, and needs. Woo, there's my sweet spot right there. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> she found it, I everybody. Found it. Hope you're finding yours too. Come on, let's go, tribe. Remember, has fit tribe, thousands, if not millions, doing this same workout at home, feeling that same burn you're feeling. You're not alone. Rep by rep, keep working it right here. Including us too, we are here with you. Yes, we are feeling it too. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, goodness. Excellent, shake those arms loose. We're gonna stand up on our feet for the next one. All right, I'm gonna grab my towel. Claudia's just gonna use her body weight. We're gonna do a hammer curl. Hammer curl. So that's palms facing in, curl. I'm gonna use this towel, grab on both ends. I'm gonna step on it, where Claudia's gonna perform the same move with just her arms. Either way, we're going full range of motion. I'm creating resistance with my leg. And I'm just creating resistance with myself, really. Right. Just squeezing as I move up and down in the hammer curl movement. So she's creating an isometric contraction, squeezing her forearms and biceps the whole way through. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Just imagine that you're holding a pair of really heavy dumbbells and just squeezing them up and down. Nice and slow on this one. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Nice and slow, no race. Just keep constant tension on those biceps and forearms, squeezing. Yeah, and you will feel a burn, even with nothing in your hands. Or with the towel. Or with work, the towel. Working against your own leg. <laughs> you got it. And if you want to do the towel, but you don't quite have the balance to do this version, you can do this from a seated position hmm. as well. I meant to mention that. That's right. We do have this one in a seated position. Either way, keep it going. Fighting through that burn. Remember that lactic acid is just the fuel that your muscles use. You don't have to listen to that burn. You don't have to listen to that nerve response. It's all about that mental toughness and fighting through it. When it gets hard, are you gonna quit or are you gonna keep pushing? Come on, let's push together, guys. You got it. Almost there for five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Whoo, starting to feel a good bicep good pump. Yep. I'm feeling a pump, feeling swole. All right, let's go to the ground, guys. <laughs> We're gonna go into a star plank. That's the look a wife gives her husband when she's <laughs> not amused. When I'm like, eh. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Arms are out nice and wide, getting into a star position. Claudia's gonna be on her knees. I'm doing this one from on my feet. So arms are out to your side, and we're just gonna hold star plank. Great one for your upper back as well as your core. That's right. Being sure breathe. to breathe. You don't have to get all the way down on this one. Again, actually to make your back take over, I prefer that you don't go quite all the way down. Stay up, make those back muscles work. Hopefully your hands aren't slipping. Biceps working, forearms working, core's engaged. You don't want your butt way up in the air and you don't want it sinking down. Keep your head in a nice neutral position in line with your back. And we are breathing. Do not hold your breath. You will regret it if you do. You will might get a little shaky, but that's expected. Yeah, that's how we know it's working, guys. We're right there with you. Come on, keep pushing, keep grinding. What'd you come here for today? Remind yourself of it. What's your goals? What are they? What's it gonna take to accomplish them? Think about it, think about it. For 10 more seconds, come on. Getting closer to those goals every second. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Woo. 
I'm sweating. <laughs> All right, we're moving into a dolphin push up. Staying down on the ground. Let's go ahead and get onto those forearms. So it's gonna start off like we're doing a normal low plank. So on your balls of your feet or on your knees and then on your forearms. Now we're gonna do a dolphin push up. So we're actually gonna move at your shoulders. I want you to pull your body back from the hips. We'll look back behind you with those shoulders relaxed and then come all the way forward up over those hands. You can even move your arms a little yep. further underneath you on this one than you might in a normal low plank. Getting a full range of motion. Again, core stays tight. Feel those shoulders stretch as you pull back. Staying under control. It's a great one for your lats as well as your core. One of our all-time videos. That's my favorite. Has this movement? Oh yeah. In it. Yeah, we've used this one in a couple. It's one of my favorite moves as well. Doesn't look like much, but man, it catches up to you quick. It's that old school body weight routine that you have, Coach, with the red shorts. <laughs> with the red shorts. I've done it a few times. Keep it up, guys. <laughs> Let's go. We don't have much left. Last 10 seconds. Fight through. Full range of motion. Come on, come on, come on. Five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Nice. All right, we're gonna come up into a high plank position for the next one. Hands are underneath your chest. Core is tight, either from your knees or your feet. We're gonna reach under and then pull back and fly. Re high plank, reach through and fly. Alternating arms, right then left. Keep your shoulders square to the ground. Hips stay square to the ground. Core nice and tight, pulling, tight, tight. Pulling back, squeezing your back muscles up at the top. Reach all the way through. Keep a slight bend in that elbow as you pull back and squeeze those upper back muscles. Right, left, right, left. You got it, guys. We don't have a whole lot left in this upper body routine. Just keep moving. Thank goodness. Rep by rep, step by step getting you just that much closer to your goals. Think of it this way, everything you want is at the top of that staircase. Every rep, every workout, every day, you just get one step closer to achieving your goals up at the top. Not gonna happen overnight, but if you put in the work and you keep showing up day in and day out, you will get there. Come on guys, let's go. Everything you got right here, keeping that core tight. Not much left on this one. Let's go 10 more seconds. You got it, you got it. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent job. All right, we have one of Claudia's personal favorites coming up next, a diamond push-up. So I'm gonna put those hands in a diamond shape. I'm gonna do this one from up top of my feet. Claudia's gonna do this one from her knees but it's exactly like it sounds. So with that diamond shape with her hands, coming up into a push-up position, lowering her body, those elbows get to about a 90, and then back up. Breathe. Do the best you can. This one puts extra emphasis on the triceps. And if you need to, you can come to the knees, put the hands closer to you, and it'll make it much easier. So closer those hands are to you, the easier this one will be. And the sweatier you are and the sweatier your mat is, the harder it'll be. <laughs> you will see me struggle with this one. As you said, it's my favorite move, but we are in this together, so I'm gonna keep moving. That's it. We can't break, so you can't break. Keep it going, guys. Everything you got. It's not about being perfect. It's just about putting in the work, getting a little bit better than you were yesterday. Right here. Ooh. You got it. Only 10 more seconds on this one. Come on. You got it. What can you get? What can you get? For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, awful. Okay. All right, here we are. <laughs> Next one, we're gonna do a star Superman. So we're back into that prone position, lying flat on our stomachs, arms are out in front of us. Now we're gonna get into a star shape. Legs are out, arms are out. See if I can stretch my six foot two frame here. And then we're gonna bring our upper body and our lower body up off the ground and squeeze your upper back, glutes, and lower back. Boom. Every time, come back down in a nice 
controlled fashion. No flopping around. That's it. And squeeze, keep those arms out in that star shape. Come up as much as you can. You may not get as much range of motion as us. Or you might get more. Exactly. Either way, make this work out your own. And keep moving. Everything you got. Compare yourself to nobody else but you. That's it, getting a little bit better. And all the improvements that you're making. Getting a little better every day. Ooh, it burns. Burns so good, guys. We're right there with you. Don't stop. Don't give up. No matter how slow you're moving, still lapping everybody else that's sitting on the couch. This is it right here. Fight to the end. What do you got? Prove it to yourself. Right here for 10 more seconds. Breathe. And then five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ah, uh. excellent job, everybody. Slowly stand on up. And we're gonna move into a cool down. Purpose of the cool down is to allow your heart rate to come down slowly, as well as getting a little extra mobility and flexibility work in. We're gonna start with a waterfall. So let's get that elbow tucked in nice, cl close to your side, elbows bent. Palm is facing straight up. Opposite side hand, grab those fingertips. Pull back on those fingertips as you slowly bring that elbow up and hold that stretch. That's it right there. Just holding, feeling kind of stretching your wrists, forearms, biceps. All oh, feeling good on this Feels one. Good. You spend a lot of time on your phone texting, or a lot of time a at, a, at a computer, driving. These are all muscles that'll probably be tight on you. We get a lot of wrist comments. We do. <laughs> Very common problem in this. Yep. Day new, and age. Yeah, new age we live in. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Shake it out. Let's do the opposite side next. Again, pulling back on those fingertips. Slowly pull back as we bring that elbow up and hold that's the whole game right there excellent work so far today guys remember no matter what else today brings you can consider your workout done check it off your list it's done it feels so good to just you know, be over with it be, that's right and just accomplish it and, <laughs> and say you know, i did it that's right no matter what else today brings or doesn't bring you did something today you can be proud of hold it for three two one, zero, shake it loose. All right, we're gonna do a classic move next, a posterior shoulder stretch. So go ahead and bring that arm across, pulling with your opposite arm, trying your best to get that arm straight across your chest. If that only means right here for you, that's all right, do the best you can. Just gonna hold, great one to help stretch out those shoulders, stress, chest and upper back. Stress, that stress. too. Yeah, that, that work too. out your stress too, <laughs> that works. You know, whatever, coach. <laughs> <laughs> Hold and breathe, guys. That's it right there. Focus on bringing that heart rate down nice and slow. Control your breathing. That's it. For five, four, three, two, one. Shake it loose. Let's go that opposite side now. Again, nice, big, deep breaths. Giving yourself a second here to just be proud of what you've achieved so far today. I want you to think about all the stresses of your day, everything that gets in your way, everything that brings you down. I want you to go ahead and put all that in a box. And I want you to take that box and I want you to throw it away. Breathe and relax, starting fresh, starting anew right here. Let it all go, let all that stress go. Use this workout as a catalyst to start fresh. Three, two, one, zero, shake those arms loose. Let's go over the wall. We're gonna do an overhead wall flexion. Last move, hold back is flat on the wall and your head, head's on the wall, shoulders are on the wall, lower back and hips, which is hard to do on its own. Once you get there, palms facing inward. Bring those arms up overhead, full stretch all the way down. Whew, I'm pretty tight on this one after that workout, especially my left side. You might find that one side is tighter than the other. As we often say, that's all right. And from day to day, you might have tightnesses or little things getting in your way as you work hard. It's all right, so that's why we do these mobility routines. 
just working on improvement every day. And as you even go through this little routine here, by the end of it, you'll be just that much more loose. Excellent. Whew, trying your best to keep that back flat on the wall as you raise those arms up overhead. You want to talk about some pretty faces, Claudia. I'm sure we're making some pretty <laughs> good ones right now. <laughs> That's all right. Again, we're not trying to look cute here. Just putting in that work. Appreciate you guys coming and working with us today. That's it here. Last 10 seconds. Moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with for five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that's it. Nice you made work. it. Woo. Excellent. Woo. Excellent job out there. Thank you so much for working out with us today. If you enjoyed today's workout, you've been working out with us for a while and you're starting to see some results. We'd encourage you to please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed today's routine, we ask that you give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that way you never miss a brand new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts, our free meal plans, and our free complete fitness programs. And if you are on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Whatever social media is your poison, find us because we're there and we want to connect with you. Again, thank you so much for giving us the privilege of working out with you today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.